If you've ever wished for a magic pill that could make you lose weight, it may have finally arrived. It's not a pill, it's an injection. Three new injectable drugs developed for type 2 diabetes patients are also helping people lose weight. And in some cases, it's a lot of weight. They're now in such demand that combined, these drugs made nearly $10 billion last year, and that'll likely skyrocket this year. We're working for you with what you need to know before you try them. I didn't really have a goal. Husband and wife Jared and Amber Lassiter say they have always struggled with their weight. We'd lose a little bit here, a little bit there, never really stuck. And so for me, like, I was to the point, if I lost 20 pounds, I was going to be happy. Ten months ago, their doctor put them on the diabetes injectable drug, Manjaro. So far, Amber's lost 65 pounds. Jared's lost about twice that much. I've never weighed this in my adult life. Katie Davidson ate healthy, counted calories, cut portions. She runs around after her two small kids and works on her family farm, but she couldn't stop the weight gain after thyroid surgery. And I think there's a lot more to weight gain and obesity than calories in versus calories out because just wasn't adding up. Five months ago, she started on semaglutide, brand name Ozempic. I think this last month I've lost 10 pounds. Look out, here I've always had trouble with my weight. You've probably seen the ads. Three injectable type 2 diabetes drugs are changing the weight loss world. Wagobi was approved for weight loss two years ago. Ozempic and Mount Jaro are on track to get FDA approval for weight loss this year, but doctors already prescribe them off-label. They work in similar ways. They all kind of work by making you feel a little bit more full, so they're kind of slowing down your digestion. So kind of stopping you from eating too much. And that's what patients say they notice most. I didn't get as hungry. It, it was an appetite suppressant for me more than anything. The staff at University Health Weight Management says these drugs are not a quick fix to lose a few pounds. They're a long-term treatment for people with chronic obesity and comorbidities. Some patients, like Jared, lose quickly. Others, like Katie, take longer. You really have to stick with it and just be patient. Because I almost gave up. I was like, this is expensive. This isn't working. Is this really worth it? And I thought, well, I'll just keep trying and see what happens. They are expensive. Your cost depends on your diagnosis and your health insurance. Most of them are over $1,000 for a month's supply if you are paying cash for them. Insurance, if it covers it, makes it pretty manageable. The copays are less than $100 and coupons can bring it down to $25 or I've seen even $0. So, yeah, a lot of times we'll get them down to $0 for our patients for these medications. So. Shortages are a problem too, but pharmacists say that's true with many meds right now. Dr. Taylor expects production of these drugs to ramp up this year to meet demand, and they can have side effects. Just your main GI side effects, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, constipation is what you're going to expect with that. But they do get better after you've been on it for a little bit longer. So just allow your body to get used to it. Serious side effects like kidney or gallbladder problems are rare, but they can happen. It did mess up my gallbladder. They say that it's pretty normal um, for anybody that has a rapid weight loss that it can mess up your gallbladder. So mine decided to go wonky and I had to get it removed. But all three say it's worth it. They've lost weight, but also seen improvements in cholesterol, blood sugar, blood pressure, and joint pain. They exercise more and sleep better. I'm starting to recognize myself in the mirror again. That's been nice. And they're building habits to keep the weight off. I'm also walking three to four times a week on the treadmill. We both have changed our diet, so I mean, I'm hoping that it's not something that's just going to come right back really quick. They say even if they have to stay on a low dose long term for maintenance, they finally feel some hope. I say all the time to people, if you've ever struggled with your weight, I want anyone and everyone to be able to get it because it is a life changer. So if you are interested in taking these things to ask your doctor, ask about the risks of the drug for you versus the risk of obesity related health problems you face. Ask how these drugs can interact with other medications you take now and talk extensively about your personal and family health history. We also asked if obese patients using these drugs for weight loss take them from diabetics who need them. The University of Health Weight Management Medical staff said this. If patients with chronic obesity don't lose weight with these drugs, they have a higher chance of developing type 2 diabetes, and they'll need the drug anyway. In this way, it's about disease prevention. We'll post the full story for you on fox4kc.com.